So being one turn off Janissaries, and with most of my cities in a sort of lovely, just sort of finished up on projects, really this is a good time to build up on infrastructure. You can see I've got 60 culture, 60 science, that's pretty much the top of the game at the moment, so I'm really not doing too badly, but things like Theopolis's infrastructure, uh, infrastructure, structure, structure, Ah, oh, I'm just so good at pronouncing all words. Like all of these sites, do you see all of these? I've got barracks, libraries, amphitheaters, workshops, all of this shite needs to be made. Uh, and I don't particularly need a huge amount more infrastructure in terms of military infrastructure. So I think I can probably do all right because I'm about to upgrade to some Janissaries on the front line. So I think I'm gonna treat myself to a workshop and then we're gonna get on a bit of a building spree water mills in order to make sure that we're getting all the food into our empire we can, a builder to improve those last few tiles, uh, an amphitheatre, a barracks, actually we'll treat ourselves to the barracks before because the barracks has a little bit of production, and a library. And that should, in theory, produce everything we need, although actually saying that I'm going to get a stables instead of a barracks because I think long term that's a little bit better for me. Yeah, that's, that's looking good. Uh, I've also just finished the temple in Turkish Delight, so that can get a apostle or two very soon. But for now, it seems like a granary is needed, desperately, and then a builder, and then we'll see what districts we can plug into this city after that point, because again, desperately need to improve the production of that city. It's pretty terrible. So here's where we get Vicky to do us just an amazing deal, right? Normally it's 20 of a resource is what we will do. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do 20 horses, we're gonna do 20 iron, I'm gonna stick in the luxury they haven't got, and then we're gonna see how that works out. So we've got 20 of that, 20 of that, 20 of that. What would you give me? 22 gold per turn. Vicky is going to be a fantastic trading partner. In fact, actually, where is her city? Uh, I have to double check that one. Oh, that was her deal in my turn. Hang on, we'll just set the turn. Roll forward. Oh, diplomatic service. We're just gonna to get to this in a second. That is, that is lovely. Um, resident, oh, they're not gonna let us have an embassy. Never mind, but I do have all of this political power. Let's just see what they will give me for that. 65 gold per turn. Hmm. Hmm. You know what? I'll take that. That's a great deal. Out you go with conscription. I'll get you back in a bit. Out you go there. We're going to pull in professional army. We're going to pull in... Where is it? 50% uh, discount on unit upgrades. Resource discount, that's good. That's a lovely one. Um, we're going to get the Whistle Bank and it's going to be on Machiavellism. Yep, but that's to get the spy up and running. That'll be really handy. And this campus is just absolutely useless. I'm just going to stick in the plus one production. It's just a nice, oh no, actually serfdom. Serfdom, just want to get my builders up. That's always a good one. Okay, wonderful. Now I've got four nighter. I have a feeling I'm going to need a little bit more than that to upgrade. I need one more nighter. Okay, so we're just holding fire just for a turn. You can see all of my troops have just healed really, really quickly. Uh, we're all ready to go. Everyone is sort of on the front line and, and, and just like rearing to have a go at the enemy here. But uh, just got to hold fire just for a second. Should we go for bombards or anything else? Let me have a think about this. Let's go for bombards. Oh, ho, 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 ho. 55 range strength as opposed to 35 range strength. That means we're going to have 55, plus 5 for the Ottoman ability, which is 60, plus 10 for Crusade, which is 70, plus 10 against cities because of my governor, which is 80, and then plus 5 for the military alliance, 85. Yeah, that's that's the sort of thing we're talking about here. Having thought about it, I'm going to go down to monarchy and then I'm going to go towards theocracy. I'm going to go for reformed church because the gold purchasing thing is going to become very useful in a very short space of time. City renaming time, Constantinople over in this direction, Siegeville in this direction, followed by Teeth over here, because that's clearly how you pronounce it. I will not hear anything else otherwise. No, 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 no. And this is where the upgrade begins to get, quite frankly, a little bit silly. Now, here is my swordsman that is double upgraded. I'm just gonna switch him with that swordsman. You can see they both are escorting siege towers. And very rightfully so, this is a 36 strength melee strength unit. Here comes the Yanissary. Oh, who can possibly resist it? That is a very valid question. This is now a 60, 60 strength unit. Uh, and then I think, I can't think of any other like sort of use, or any better use I should say, 
Can I actually, where's my great general gone? I literally had him. I, did, it, it, I think he's on this tile, but I just can't click it. Can't click. Ugh, I'm gonna have to do that stupid thing where I go in to find him through here. Hang on. Yeah, look, they see that there he, there he was. There he was. Absolute jerk. Right, now I'm gonna form the core. Oh, 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 oh. That's a 70 strength unit. Oh my, this is going to get a little bit spicy. <laughs> Also, I really need this gunpowder, and so I'm actually sending a builder to Leventa to build their, their mine for them. Just pass it down to me now. That's fine. We should be getting four per turn in, which is lovely because that's, that's, that's all I need for Janissaries. No! You were offering me 30 gold per turn earlier, and now I've got you surrounded. The deal seems to have disappeared. That's not how it works. Oh, I forget as well that they get a free upgrade when they... Oh, when I promote them. That's even better. Should we give them Urban Warfare? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, these guys are just going to be ridiculous. Let's evangelize this belief. What can we get? Oh look, Teeth. Of all things, we could be getting Teeth into our... You know what, it's just too good. It's too good to say no to. That'll actually get me a nice amount of gold as well, so I can't complain really. Oh, I got Celestial Navigation in, in, a, in a tribal hut in 400 AD. Lovely. Also, I'm pretty sure in 400 AD... Oh Jesus, there's a knight there. Oh. Oh, well, well, that was intriguing. Um, I'm pretty sure in 400 AD there weren't bombards or, or, or muskets or anything like that. So, you know, we're going to have to just take this with a, with a pinch of salt, aren't we? Now, that knight unit is uh, that's strong and unfortunately has done a large amount of damage to that catapult, which was just about to have a lovely little ride inside. Um, unfortunately for them, this Janissary now can step into enemy territory and just get the immediate kill. Bang. Yeah, that's how powerful we are now. I love how nature itself is helping me with this war. There is now a drought in Toulouse, oh dear. That's unfortunate for you, because unfortunately my Janissary is now wandering very casually towards Toulouse with a missionary in tow. So without Crusade, this is without Crusade, I can take the city in one hit. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh my god, that is just ridiculous! That is actually ridiculous! Oh my god, and they're just, they, they think that like sending knights at me is gonna somehow take, you know, do a difference. Unfortunately for it, Moshka was in that city, so we managed to take 70 health off my crossbow, I mean it just immediately healed, because that is how I roll. And also, here's another Janissary, and I'm just gonna keep producing the damn things. Oh, you know what? They're desperately offering me peace deals now. They know, they know this is bad news bears. You know, Paris is all very well and like powerful, but that Janissary core is tough. Oh, would you just stop killing my units? Honestly, please. Barbarians have the least of my problems right now. That's like a first turn scout, that one. Uh, right, keep upgrading these Jan- oh, these Janissaries are so good. Right, shall we, um, shall we advance to the front line, ladies and gentlemen? I believe we should. Let's bring this Janissary right over to the front line. Uh, you can see just with him, he only, he's got an 89 strength at attacking, which is, which is plenty. That's absolutely fine. Got to watch this encampment. I don't want to leave too many units in that area if I can help it. So I'm just going to sort of casually shift my units sideways. At this moment, it's just a Janissary led attack. That's what's going to be the best for me. In fact, I should even just quickly put Tortoise on this, just to make sure the encampment can't even scratch my units. That's lovely. Ah, oh, just slowly but surely. Now, where's my missionary? He's going to put foul play into the city, giving me lots of era score. Lovely. And then the Janissary. Oh, it can't quite kill it anymore. They may have increased their defense a little bit. So it can only... Oh, no. No, I say that, but we've just taken the city in one go. Cool. Keep that city. And also, I don't have population loss. I love that ability from the Ottomans. It's so understated, but so useful. All right, let's get my units coming through now. We've got a we've got a clear path to get into enemy territory. Oh, a military policy slot. That's quite handy. Okay then. Well, I will take out conscription. Wonderful. And then, yeah, just keeping my gold per turn. This is lovely. This is lovely. Oh my goodness. In fact, actually, I can probably with these uh purchased cities next turn i might just purchase in a new janissary 480 gold yeah easy done let's see how paris gets on in equivalent 
Oh, that, they only lose half of their city. That's good. Bang. <laughs> I mean, look, 88 strength and just a melee attack against the walls, as long as I've got a siege engine next to it. Oh my goodness, it's just wonderful. And even even these, like, look at this, the, the crossbows have 43 strength. Just just from crusades and all that sort of stuff. That's, that's amazing. I love it so much. Oh, bang, bang. All the extra experience, lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Other janissaries to the front lines, I believe. This skirmisher has been stood on this wheat field for the entire game. It is about time I finally built some walls and killed it. My god, the most annoying thing ever. <laughs> it's my own fault for not dealing with it quicker, but honestly. It's unfortunate, there's a tornado just like hovering around. You said I was going to use this builder to uh, put some cotton improvements on that one, but I might just hang him around. Oh, actually, I've got another builder coming. I was just thinking in order to stop myself from being drowned. Or, or to like, if, if anything was broken, I could come and fix it. Oh my god, right, Cartage, no, stop it. That religion is disgusting. So let's see, can our Janissaries take over Paris? Bang, and then bang, that was a hundred strength, that one. Yes, in short, they can. It's really easy. This is like a Dark Age combat now, and I've got full loyalty in my cities that I'm taking over. Because even in the Dark Age, we just don't care. Okay, these Janissaries are, are, are still super strong. So just moving my units forward. Lovely. Yeah, you see, look, it's, 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 just, it's just very casual right now. It's quite clear that this French war is over. They've only got 86 strength left on their units. I'm about to get a Bombard upgrade for my uh, Catapults, which is just lovely indeed. Which are they? They're 20 Nitre units. So actually, more Nitre is important. I've just got a Builder here. Uh, oh, actually, oh, I just picked up the Pyramids. Oh, that's really handy. Oh, my builders are six charge builders now. That's awesome. Right, well, as I said, I've got more nitre there to improve. I don't think there's anywhere else in my empire. Oh, there's one here that's just like taking forever to, to become part of my empire, but no, that's, a, that's okay. Just Leventa. Leventa needs to go and, and take that tile, and we should be good. No, France, you don't understand. You are being annexed. This is no, no chance for peace here. <laughs> this, I mean, why would I take peace? This is quite clear. Oh. Even Ruin has just adopted my religion in the middle of that combat. Oh, this is just fantastically drawing me towards a great era, a golden era here, which is lovely. Right, the Siege Tower's going to come in. Oh, lovely. Almost there. Almost there. Next turn. Next turn and we'll be there. The view crew weapons. Where's my upgraded one? Oh, look. There's a catapult. And now it is Le Bombard. Oh, 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 oh. Let's just have a quick quick peek next. So this is going to be huge damage against like an encampment like that, for instance. Oh, lovely. Now, the next thing I need in the science tree really is flight. Flight is a little while away. But flight will give me the ability to just bomb things from a great distance, which is lovely. I still don't have sailing, but I quite enjoy that, actually. That's quite funny. <laughs> uh, let's go for printing. Printing will be good because that'll give me the extra uh, diplomatic visibility so I can get a bit more damage in on my attacks, and then, then I should probably get sailing. Oh, fine. Celestial navigation. Yeah, cool. Cool, and then we'll think about pushing up um, further in a little bit. Now, you, Corsair, are being rather annoying. Now I do not want to give you things for natural disasters, and no, a military emergency sounds awful. Let's not do that. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh, we're past. All right, who's at war with me? Victoria and France. Okay, Victoria. Well, unfortunately for Victoria, you're putting religion around my empire at the moment. So I can just kill that. Theocracy! Sorry, I'm going to lose that four combat strength here from the oligarchy, but that's absolutely fine. I've got conscription, retinue's professional army at the top. That's lovely. We've got serfdom. And I think I'll treat myself to... Should we go for something that's quite tasty in terms of... We've got like a new deal. I haven't got that one yet, have we? I think just extra production in all my cities is going to be a good thing to be able to do. So I'll do that for now. Machiavellism is a lovely one. Oligarchic Legacy might be quite fun. Or the Merchant Confederation would get me a load more gold. That's fine. Oh, I just realised Vicky dropping out of that war. Oh, it's taken all her gold per turn. I, I gave her like 200... Ah. Oh. Damn it, I've just realised that the diplomatic favour I sold her was the diplomatic favour that she used to take me on. Damn it, that's just so frustrating. Anyway, Nantes, I'm taking my anger out on you. Can't you see that? This isn't about you. This is about me being angry. Oh my god, you're kidding me. Oh, how was that not? Oh, 
Whatever. Whatever. Right, bombards instead. This little scrap actually is quite handy because I know my catapults don't do very much damage against Corsairs, but they're all leveling up because of this, which is quite handy. This is actually a really good opportunity just to level up all of my units just on these really weak knights. Oh, sorry, the Corsair units, they just can't do anything to me. And my Janissaries are just slowly making their way to the front line, slowly amalgamating more Niter into my empire. I've got loads of the stuff coming in now, just need to make sure that Leventa doesn't flip to another city. Yeah, so far, so good. The Maori, Maori look like a good place to go and conquer next, I think. We're saying that, there's an English city in this direction. Oh, and another French city. They've been settling. Okay, well, we will go from west to east and we shall continue down the road of death until there is no more French and then the English will be next. I love it. My Janissaries are taking like six damage, eight damage. They, they know, they know. France knows that that's what they should be shooting because that's their, their strong units, but they just can't do anything about it. And these Corsairs are just absolutely lovely. Oh, I lost my military alliance. I need to, I need to get that one back. I know, I know their religion is really annoying and, and I do need to do something about that, but I think at this point, as long as I'm sort of in a military alliance with them, shared visibility when that does come through will be amazing. Uh, let's just give you some of that to get that through. Wonderful. And we'll do a big deal with you just to cement our relationship. In fact, do you do cotton still? No, I've already given you cotton and you've got all of the stuff. Okay, fine, so and so. Let's just sell you all of that. What would you give me? Nine gold per turn. It's not the best. You're not the best ally. But at least I'll get visibility on the map soon. Um, so, yeah, I need to just make sure that I've got ruin down now. Right, just quickly. I'm just, you know when you just let your mind is sort of drifting between locations? There's Nantes. Nantes has fallen. So the French Empire is pretty much pretty much absorbed now, which is pretty fun. Um, I've still got what appears to be the largest army. Oh no, technically the Kemmer have the largest army in the game. That's quite interesting. So, I mean, I don't know what they're doing with theirs, but it seems like they're doing a good job. Let's just heal you up quickly. Um, and then just keep pushing forward. Now, this unit is going to die now. Uh, it's just a case of who ends up getting the kill. So we've got loads and loads of troops. So here's a one crossbow. So we'll get you to attack, followed by... Oh no, this can upgrade. Wonderful, this is just wonderful upgrade territory. Give you some time to upgrade. I've got lots of bombards. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Uh, oh, I thought that would kill it. Never mind. And then this Janissary can finish it off. Lovely. Look at that. So we're renaming Nantes to Somersville. I, I, I like these name plays. This is, this is really, really good. And we're really kicking, kicking it in with the... <laughs> Nobody's business but the Turks. What's this? Is that because I renamed the city Constantinople? I think it might have been. Um, ah, oh, white flag. Look at that. This is wonderful. I mean, sorry, Paris. And now we're just going to start on Turkey, Rapunz. Gobbleton. Love it. What a lovely name. I, this is, this is, I like this part of the game. I've just taken over all of this territory and I've just got builders now, six charge builders running around just fixing everything. Like over here, Constantinople has had two housing when I took it over. I'm about to finish a granary there. I've got all of these farms being put down like so. It feels like this was a terrible placement of the city from the computer and I'm fixing it. Do you know what I mean? Like I am, I am coming in, doing my thing and just sorting this shit out. I love it. This is... This is wonderful. Now I've got plenty of science, I've got plenty of culture. The next thing I need is commercial hubs because I want to start with using my unique uh, uh, building, the Grand Bazaar. Accumulate one extra strategic resource for every type of strategic resource city is improved. Press one amenity for every luxury resource. So with these, I can get a ton of money, which is really handy. I don't know what's going on there. Uh, get a ton of money in and I can get a ton more amenities. And these are quite good tiles for it actually. So that's lovely, yeah. And start building commercial hubs. I like great merchants as well, they're quite handy. And look, Gobbleton, there's my great works. The ones I sold to the French. I got them back. I told you I would. Let's test these bombards out. This is not with um, uh, anything too special. In fact, actually, I've just realised my governor might be a little far away now. So he's not giving the... Oh no, I've still got the, bo the bonus. 70 strength bombards. I can do better than that. I can do better than that. That's that's not, not great. So... Start shooting this encampment down, like so. Lovely. We'll keep keep upgrading our bombards just because we know we need to. 
Um, I'm giving this Janissary some time to heal. I'll bring this one to the front line. Everything is coming forward slowly. And you know what? Yeah, I'm going to just switch this guy over to France's capital. Uh, the location of that city is not yet known. Oh, you know what? They took over a city-state. Oh my god, if I threw that city-state, that's someone that lets me buy troops for no money. <gasps> oh my god, that's amazing. Okay, fine. Well, let's not get too excited. Teeth, in you come. Bombards, just bombarding down the encampment. Like so. I think... Oh, I've still got some district up. I mean, that's appalling. How? How and why? Okay, that encampment is now totally dead. Let's just move my Janissaries in. Oh, it's got an upgrade. Oh, lovely. A bit amphibious, why not? In comes the missionary. I can start to get rid of this religion very soon. In fact, I shall get some more era score just for doing that, that lovely thing. This just Janissary is just stood on a cliff, unable to sort of make his way further forward. I've got a bit of a bottle, bottleneck on my units right now. Everyone wants to come through at once. We can't quite do it. Now, there's a deer tile here, but I'm actually going to get rid of those deers because that is a good adjacent campus going on. What has White Flag just finished? I have no idea what it just finished, but whatever it did, it was lovely. World Congress time. How lovely. I think I would like some great engineers because I'm getting lots and lots of those and religious city-states. I don't actually care about any of this at all. This is totally pointless. Religious, great admiral. Okay, no great admirals. You know what? I can live with that. That is absolutely fine with me. Um, let's just actually move my Janissaries back. Oh, for God's sake, no siege tower. Don't you go with it. You ass. Ugh. Damn it. I'm such an idiot. Such an idiot. Bombards are still being upgraded. Um, the Janissaries are still making their way through to the front lines. This missionary. There we go. He's got foul play in. I'm just going to move you to the top of the hill just so I can see what's going on. This Janissary. Yeah, you just need to switch out. Let somebody with a bit more strength come in. Yes. Okay, this is good. This is good. We've got a lot of a lot of units at the front line now. We're starting to really push in. Oh, wonderful. Whoa, 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 Maori. Um, what are you doing? What are you doing? Protector at war. Oh my goodness. I can just declare a. Oh. With zero grievances yes right you my friend that is not an appropriate use of your time constantinople i need you to make a janissary for me thank you very much it can't because i've got no nighter because of course levent is being attacked Ugh. fine right i need a route to Leventa. let's get some roads built up to it i need to send some army in that direction there's a scout here that scout will die printing can now see things better. Lovely. Right, Siege Tower, I need you to move closer. There we go. Uh, I think my Janissary can now make a decent attack, but it's not its not the most decent. Here we go. Actually, that's good. That's a good attack. Look at that. Bang. Ruin is, is, is taking a huge hit to its health there. Uh, this Janissary can get lots of, yeah, lots of damage to that one. Okay, good. Good, we're slowly starting to come in now. Start to put pressure on. This is just such a bottleneck of like death here. Ugh. Anyway, my troops will heal in one turn if they are healing in this city, which is fine. I might just send a couple of troops in the other direction just to stop Leventa, or even if Leventa does fall, just to stop it from being fought. So my Janissary core, and then I've sent one, and then two bombards up that way, and then some crossbows as well. I think that'll be fine. And I'm saving my nitro up for a second just so that I can buy some more units on this front line. Okay, this is good. This is good. Ooh, university and a library in that district. That's quite handy. Uh, yeah, go put a last. There we go. University down. 93 science. This is a good game so far, actually. Just a nice amount of combat just to push us through these early games. I've got some commercial hubs popping up everywhere. As I say, the great people points I'm getting just from the Oracle Pingala mix in Theopolis is, is amazing. Now, an event is definitely going to die, but that's okay, actually. We don't mind that, really, because all that's going to happen is we're going to be able to then liberate it and get tons of points for doing so, which is pretty pretty awesome. Now, Carthage is still, still a good trading partner with me. Let's see if I can just get a little bit more squirreled stuff from them. Eight gold per ten. It all helps, especially because, yeah, like... 
nine. Nine from deals at the moment is terrible. Oh dear. All right, come on, units to the front line. Total wall damage sounds like the just about sort of uh, wall damage that I'm looking for. So let's just take Ruin. Lovely. Keep that city. And our bombards are now going to pile forward because now all of our units can pile forward into this lovely space created because this road now works. Haha. -ha. Lovely. This is really good. Still fixing stuff. Still getting all of this uh, territory. And look at this huge field here. This is a huge population hub. I love it. Oh, we're so close to nationalism. So close to nationalism. Oh, that would be such a swing for us. Just be able to produce so many more troops and not have to worry about the effects of it. Oh, this encampment is broken. Who broke that encampment, hey? Oh, who knows? How, how have France got 160 strength again? I think they're just settling as quickly the other way as I am attacking this way. It's, it's, it is fairly impressive, to be fair. <laughs> this is where Coupe sat there thinking, we took Leventa. Goodness me, we've got 555 army. This is looking good. This is a good, this is a good corporate. Hang on. What's, what's, what's that coming over there? Oh, bam. I took that. Here I am. Next turn, I can just waltz into with a 93 strength attack. <laughs> oh, Coupe. What have you done? Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. I am going to enjoy this. A lot. Shall I use a bombard to kill a heretic? Yes, I shall. What a lovely thing to be able to do, eh? <laughs> bombard heresy. Oh dear. Anyway, this is a nice city state, actually. I might end up going and freeing this one from the evil clutches of the French. Definitely. Move my troops forwards. Always oh, forwards we go. I fancy a bit of industrialization. Factories are always good fun, and I can beeline straight for flight after that point because. Ottomans and flight. They are just the most amazing combination. Now, who is this? That's England, isn't it? Oh, you only have 338 strength. That's, a, and that's, that's an unfortunately small amount of strength for you there. Now, my Janissary is not as strong as I hoped he would be, and that's because this religion, unfortunately, is not one of my religions, but that's okay. That's okay. We don't have the crusade ability but we can still do some devastating bombard damage. Uh, here we are. The glorious bombard crusade continues, but this time it is just our Janissaries who are going to attack. Might even treat myself to a little bit of health from his fields, we'll see. Oh, sorry, don't mind if I come through, do you? No? No? This is absolutely fine? Liberate! Look at all that diplomatic favour that I'm going to immediately sell to my ally because I need the gold. La 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 la, 31 gold per turn. Yes, please. Thank you very much. This means I can buy more Janissaries. And also it pushes them back annoyingly as well. And I think I get the Crusade belief. Whilst, whilst I'm in the, yes I do. Whilst Leventa's territory is still up and running. So ha ha, this is all wonderful. And also here come the Bombards. Maybe I should just sing Here Come the Bombards to this tune of Here Come the Girls. I think that would be appropriate. Hello Crossbow, don't mind me if I just bang. You know, that's that's fine, isn't it? My pillage. Let's get some health back. Let's just take our time. We are in no rush. La 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 la. Let's kill that encampment while we're at it. Oh, I'm looking forward to the ability to move and fire. That's such an, such an understated ability on bombards, but just a, such an amazing one. I'm also looking forward to the fascism government, only because there's that, there's the building that lets you uh, heal every time you kill units, which is just so useful. So useful. Total wall damage. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Right. Can we take this city this time round? I'm hoping the answer will be yes, but we shall see. One attack followed by two attacks. No, we can't actually. That's annoying. So I might actually lose that bombard unit, which is highly frustrating, but never mind. Never mind. Let's just keep attacking. Keep moving our units forward. Once we get nationalism, I, I really need to start thinking about getting military academies in. Where are the military academies? I think they're a little bit further down, aren't they? Oh, I missed them entirely. Where are they? Oh, military science. Here they are. I can start building some bombard cores. That would be quite fun. Oh my god, somehow all the units survived. That is absolutely mad. Okay, cool. Well, that bombard, you definitely need to upgrade. <laughs> That's I, how you survive that. I have no idea. 
dear, oh dear, oh dear. Now, is this going to be France's downfall? Yes, it will. And they do not have another city after this point. So, uh, that Janissary will actually get the kill. So let's just kill off this knight. Uh, we can get you to attack just for the extra experience. I actually didn't need it. He had an upgrade anyway. Get the major victory. Um, I thought that would be France dead. No, oh, maybe not. Maybe they had one more city. Ages and ages and ages away. Right, we're going to liberate. Liberate the city. A new city-state companion is ours. We've got six, six envoys on it. This is, this is wonderful. And it means that we can, with each gold or encampment building, I can now purchase things in really cheaply. So this is really handy, actually. Really, really, really handy. Rose Park, the entire game, has, has struggled with barbarians. Like, this is, this is appalling. I really should build a unit down here, but I just, oh, I just can't be bothered. <laughs> it's terrible, isn't it? Janissary would be good, but that would actually consume a population of the city if I did that, so maybe not. Uh, Crossbowman, 720 gold? That's nonsensical. Dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oh, I might have to just wait until I've got the armory set up in Theopolis and then I'll buy something from there. Because I can't be... I don't want to... It's like buying something when it's not on sale, you know? It's just, just appallingly difficult to do. Oh, yeah. Look at these deals coming in. I'm just, like, literally, Dido is bankrolling my entire war. This is wonderful. I'm very grateful for that. <laughs> this is amazing. Oh, look. Someone stood on the road. Hello. Bang. <laughs> ah. Just my slow march up towards Maori territory just to go and take all their cities. It's going to be lovely. Look at this little thing I've got here. An industrial zone worth five. Just purely off one aqueduct and a load of quarries. That is a satisfying siegeville. It's going to become my war production capital, I bet. Oh my god, a great general. Finally. Oh. Okay, right. That, that guy does industrial and modern, I believe. Let me just double check. I think he was industrial and modern. Yeah, industrial and modern. Is the Janissary industrial? Nope, he's Renaissance. Okay, fine, so he's gonna be of absolutely no use, but that's fine, that's fine. We'll just push him, push him to the this direction and we'll get him to help just because. Ugh, anyway. Here come the Janissaries. La 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 la. Oh my goodness, that's a bit more army. Okay, we're gonna have a bit of a scrap here. This is this is more like a like a game of sort of advanced wars or something. Moving my units around, making sure that I don't get killed. Oh yes. Okay, we need to we need flight, I think, in this direction. Wonder construction, however, is an interesting concept. What wonders could I produce? There's loads of different ones here. Forbidden cities. That would give me a little bit of extra wild cards. Terracotta oh, you see the terracotta army is oh it's a, it's a surefire dunk. Upgrading all of my units, that's wonderful. Nationalism, here we go. That is a wonderful thing indeed. Right, professional army and retinues. I don't particularly need these at the moment. So conscription it is. Conscription will do nicely. What else have I got? National identity? Less, re uh, actually that's quite a good one. Less combat penalty for being injured. Uh, and also wars of religion also would help massively as well. So that's quite good. Machiavellism, I just haven't used it all. That's been really bad. Really, a really bad choice. So let's just get something different, shall we? Uh, Oligarchic Legacy, I'm just going to stick that one back in for now. That'll do. That'll do, Donkey. That'll do. Um, let's just switch you around. Make sure you upgrade to Le Vole. Uh, and then actually, you've got an upgrade, Janissary. So that's good. I'll just keep you guys moving forward. Lovely. Yeah, Wars of Religion, I think, will help massively. Yeah, to save on gold per turn, I'm actually going to start coring my units up. This is actually not a bad idea. Can you join in with that one? Good. Okay. This is good. This is good. This is going to save me gold per turn. It's going to save me time per turn, just having to click all my units around. All these Janissaries are pretty high level, which is the thing. It's always good to combine one higher level unit with one lower level unit, because it will sort of improve them like so. So if we just get these guys combined and then we'll get uh, these guys combined like so. Okay, that's a lot of good cores. I can probably go after Liverpool with these ones now. Yes, let's give it a try. 